Hi, Dan. I've been all around. I'm worried about you. I want my life back. I want my child back. I need help. I know. Allison, don't run away now because of me. There are thousands of meetings. I'll find another one. Well, somehow you found your way to this one. Come on. All right, that is a beautiful look at the new movie coming out uh, next week. It is a heart-wrenching look at grief and addiction. And joining us today to discuss the film, the writer, producer, and director, Zach Braff. Thank you so much for being well, here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So excited thank to you. have you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. yeah. And now, uh, just watching a little bit of this movie, I, immediately in tears. Just so beautiful and such an important story to tell. Uh, life turned upside down, pain, suffering, and growth. So talk to us about what inspired this for you. Well, I've had a, quite a bit of, of loss uh, in, in, in my life in the last four years. I lost my sister, I lost my father, and then during COVID, I lost my best friend, uh, Nick Cordero, uh, uh, who is a beloved Broadway actor. Yes. Uh, he was living um, in, in my guest house and he got COVID at 41 mm. and passed away. So during lockdown, I, I really set out to write something um, that would honor those of us who've gone through grief and, and the process of standing back up and how we how we struggle to do it. And then, and then with my own sensibility, trying to do it with humor. I know the clip we showed is, is uh, a series and of course there's a lot of drama in the film but also I, I tried to find ways to to have there be a release and yes. so there's a lot of humor in the film as well I feel That's like beautiful. you've always been really good at writing characters like that thank yeah. you I, I experienced life like that you know when the darkest thing can happen and then someone makes a joke and you're just so happy that they did because you can laugh yes, and, a little relief <laughs> yes so that's how I that's how I try and, and write because that's what feels accurate to me for sure. And, and when you have a movie like this that's clearly near and dear to your heart, yeah. and you have heavy hitters like Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman, and you yourself, big time director, the whole, the, it becomes that perfect storm where everything works so well together. Yeah. Thank so, you. so when you get everything put together and you just yell action, you just kind of sit back and watch it just roll? Like um, how much directing did you actually have to do? <laughs> He's like, are you really a director? <laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right in the sense that, like, when you have Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman, you pretty much want to just get out of the way. Yeah. Um, but, um, but no, there's a lot of work to do. I, I, the, the best analogy I can think of is like being the conductor of an orchestra. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have these amazing musicians, but you need to kind of steer the ship. Uh, now I'm mixing metaphors, but you need to, you need to say, you know, Florence is the greatest violinist. You have to say, okay, that's incredible but be a little quieter in this moment so we can hear the oboes. Do you know what I mean? That's what you're doing. You're, you're looking at the whole piece, the whole thing in the macro. But yeah, when it comes to acting, you're not, you're not, you're not telling Florence Pugh or Morgan Freeman to act better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you're, you're overseeing it, and it's a good look at what life is like, and life isn't always easy, and it's gut-wrenching from time to time. I mean, what... What does it mean for you for people to take away from this? Like, what would you want them to take away? I just hope that everyone who goes to the theater sees a little bit of themselves in it. Of, of course, I, I hope that you haven't had something as traumatic as what happens to these characters, and, but some people have. They have. Yeah. But, but, I, but I, my hope, and I, I wrote it in such a way that I hope people see um, their own personal story, something that happened to them that they were able to stand back up from. Maybe there's something they're battling right now that they hope to stand back up from. Yeah. Um, but I, I just hope that they will see themselves, will see their family, will see their friends, and uh, they'll, they'll, there's a bit of romance, there's a, bit of, there's a lot of laughs, and, and I, I think it's a, a good experience in the theater. Absolutely. Awesome. It must feel, feel so good to have this be like coming out into the world. And you're such a well-known actor as well with amazing comedic timing. Thank you. Do you still have a, a huge passion for acting or are you really enjoying and feeling a little bit more called to, you know, writing and directing and all the behind the scenes stuff? I love doing both. Yeah. I love, um, I, 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 I hope to continue acting, yeah. um, but I, I'm really, I just directed a new episode of the show Shrinking that's on Apple TV. I love <laughs> Shrinking. Yeah, yeah. It's fun, right? Everybody loves Shrinking. It's really yeah. good. It's okay, so I can good. say that because I only directed one episode, but it was a really good show. <laughs> but it is. I it's love very Harrison good. Ford like this. Yeah. I love everybody. It's, it's so good. It's really good. I, I recommend everybody check it out. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying directing. I feel, I, I feel um, most my, myself creatively when I'm, when I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So uh, for me, one of the moments that where I really did start crying is when you're seeing a mother watching her child go through addiction and pain and trying to like 
help her and pull her out. I have a very young child and I hope I never have to face that. But I mean, it's a reality for so many people. It can be very triggering no matter what end of that you're yeah. on. Mm -hmm. What are you hoping that people take away from a film like this that, that they can take into their own lives? Well, I think most people in, in this day and age in, in this country uh, have someone they know who's been, uh, been confronted with addiction. Mm -hmm. And now in particular with this opioid epidemic that uh, is just r ravaging the country. Mm -hmm. um, along with the other things that people uh, have always traditionally been addicted to. So I, 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 I don't know, I, I just wanted people to f see themselves in it and see uh, and, and hopefully you know, see the struggles of it all, but also see that you know there is there is hope. There is there is hope, especially with 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 the with friendship and with the love of, of family and people supporting you. That there is light at the end of the tunnel. And I have to say, uh, I feel like. I'm very grateful that you shared some of the difficult things that you went through that led you to write this film. Do you think that helped you get to the other side of grief? Oh, absolutely. And I have to tell you, you know, we just did a screening um, in Seattle last night, and there's just something wonderful about when you're actually, when I'm finally sharing the film now with an audience, you know, because mm -hmm. you do it all in a bubble. But when I stand in the back of the theater and I hear the audience laugh and I hear somebody sniffle and I hear it pin drop silent, that's when it really feels so cathartic because you don't feel as lonesome anymore. As you deal with these feelings, one can often feel so alone and isolated. But then you watch the community, when you watch it in a theater with people, um, you, 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 you see all these strangers experiencing it too and you know that you're not alone. Absolutely. Um, I feel like one way that makes us feel connected is through laughter and you have Molly Shannon in this yeah. film, yes. one of my favorite <laughs> actresses of all time. She's hilarious. Yeah. What was it like working with her? Well, I love her. It's actually the very first, I, I directed an episode of like seven episodes of Scrubs and the very first one I directed, Molly Shannon happened to be the guest star. No way. Wow. And in that episode, not only was she hilarious because she's Molly Shannon, but she had a dramatic arc. Um, um, in, the, in the episode, and I was really blown away. I was like, whoa, I didn't know Molly Shannon was also an incredible dramatic actress. Mm -hmm. So when it came time to find Florence Pugh's mother in this film, I thought Molly Shannon is perfect because she's comedic relief. Oh my God, my hair is so bad, you guys. I no, you're gorgeous. I just no saw way. a monitor. I look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Seattle, I'm Casual sorry. And cool. <laughs> Cool. Seattle, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is how we do it here. You guys will fix this in post, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. use an AI yeah. and clean it up. We'll 100%. add a couple bows. Yeah. You're fine. Um, <laughs> Um, I forgot. Oh, I was just saying Molly that Shannon. Uh, Molly yeah. Shannon. So uh, there's she. She brings amazing comedic relief, yes. but also she's an incredible dramatic actress. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I have to tell you, obviously you're a great talent. I'm sure you already know that. I don't know that. I don't know that. Thank you. The guy's great. Thank but you. I just wanted to take the opportunity to say that Scrubs is one of my comfort shows. Thank you. Absolutely. So great. Thank Fun. you. And a perfect example of also using comedy and drama. Yeah. So Scrubs is kind of on the other side of things where it was like a very funny comedy. Comedy, and then it would like you know break your heart with yeah. a little bit of oh, drama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this on the flip scale, this is a, a drama um, that hopefully is emotional and people will see themselves in it. And then we we give you comedy to to have a relief, save our lives a little bit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> What's next for you? Um, well, what's immediately next for me is I'm, I'm writing a new film and, uh, and releasing this film because it comes out March 24th, mm -hmm. so we have the big premiere in New York City um, this coming week uh, awesome. on Monday. And then um, Shrinking got picked up, so I'm going to direct three episodes of that oh, for yes. season two. Yes. <laughs> so good. so um, cool. that's what's immediately next for me. Oh, well, we want to thank you so much for joining I us really today. I really appreciate it's you for having me. It's been a blast me. and congratulations thank on this you. beautiful yes. film. Good luck yes. with the movie. Thank you. All right. Well, a good person. Incredible. Just incredible. You should see it, and that is in theaters next week. Yay. Thank Still you. to come here on Studio 13 Live.